Learning Module 3, Designing Structured Content. We're going to explore the new features of Drupal 8 when it comes to adding fields to a variety of entities. This is one of the major improvements in Drupal 8, but we'll first start with a quick review of content types and our content workflow. Well, we all know that Drupal holds data. There are different content types. You can have articles, basic pages, or you can create your own. There's a taxonomy system in Drupal, and so we can add terms that categorize our content, but with Drupal 8, it can do so much more. We also know that we have a user system, a comment system, and other pre-built systems in Drupal that allow us to quickly build websites with really great structured content. The problem with unstructured data is that you can't reuse it. So when everything goes into the body field, it's stuck there. If you need a different layout, say with the image on the right instead of on the left, if you want to filter by a certain part of the content type, well, you just can't do it with unstructured data. So Drupal comes along and says, we prefer structured data so that we can separate, say, the city name from the budget and some of the things you don't want to miss. It's at this point I want to suggest that if you haven't taken our Drupal beginner class, you really need to do that. It explains in depth the whole concept of structured data for flexible displays and the idea of content types. I'm not going to go over that very much in this particular tutorial simply because we've covered it elsewhere. In Drupal 8, all entities are classed objects thanks to the much improved Entity API. Now, almost anything that you can create more than one of is now an entity. There are content entities and configuration entities. And let me explain. A content entity can have custom fields that are stored in database tables and are mostly created on the front end, like a node, custom block, users, taxonomy, terms, menu, links, and feeds. And yes, blocks are now entities, as are users and the taxonomy system. And this is really exciting. For those of you who've done Drupal work before, you're already probably starting to see some great potential there. If you're new to Drupal, and this is your first time you've looked at site building, don't worry, we're going to explain it all as we go. Configuration entities can be deployed to different environments, and they're mostly created in the administration interface, like custom content types, custom block types, user roles, views, taxonomy vocabularies, menus, and image styles. And once again, we'll be touching on each of these as we build our site. So our first task is to create custom content types. You'll remember our Drupal 8 site building workflow, plan, install, content, extend, layout, people, and manage. And I mentioned earlier in the course that some of these can be rearranged. It really just depends on how you want to build your site. But let me encourage you to think this way. Content always comes first, because without content, it's really hard to extend, layout, or manage your website. So let's talk about the content piece first. A custom content type structures the data so we can get at it later using different views and layouts. A new content type is needed when information that you're storing differs, unique fields are needed, and your display needs are different. And so the article content type, for instance, title, body, and image, isn't going to cut it for our hotels. You're able to add fields to any entity in Drupal, and specifically at this point, content types. This is how items are stored in the database, and all the settings for data entry are listed in the field type. Text, list, integer, image, file, decimal, anyway, it goes on, and we'll look at some of those. And always remember, contributed modules can provide new field types. Once we set up our fields, you'll see the Manage Fields screen represented on the screen. We'll take a look at this as we go as well, and this is where we'll spend a little bit of time over the next several videos. So, we're going to create the hotel content type, choose Submission Form Settings, configure the Publishing, Display, Comment, and Menu settings, save the content type, and then add some fields. And we'll do that starting in the next video.